God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just woke up um, this morning, not just now, but early this morning. I woke up from a powerful dream that I want to encourage all y'all with. And it was about how God, he'll let us bounce back. I mean, we overcomers and all that. I had a dream I was flying all over the world, all over the area, everywhere I was at, I was just flying. And flying symbolizes um soaring. It symbolizes um um being exalted and um and like you know just um overcoming because like you're not on the same level as like the floor level, the ground level, just like you know, being lifted up and exalted and 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 and, and soaring above your circumstances. And um you know, this dream, I'm sharing it because I've had many dreams like this and God encourages me this way. However, um, this isn't really just about me. This is for all saints who follow God and know him truly. And uh, I just want to bless y'all with this word and um, that, you know. And so then after, after that, I was flying and stuff like my grandmother and my uncle, um, they was like, wow, like, look at you, man. You just flying like, wow. And I was like, I said, um, I said, you can do this too. I said, all you got to do is have faith. I said, you can do fly just like me. And then um, they were just like, wow, like just but looking at me, but wasn't really focusing on what I was saying, which was you could, uh, you know, you could fly too. So, you know, you have to have your own faith. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Um, um, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, um, you pray in, in the spirit, building up your most holy faith. Um, and also, uh, we go from faith to faith, period. So like, you know, if you're growing in Christ and, um, and I just want to share that with y'all because, you know, it's just really a blessing, um, to have a dream like that and, uh, to be able to share it. And I was, um, as I was flying, I saw that like, um, like, okay, so after I was flying and stuff, I started having so many different, and I, and it's too many to name, so I'm not even going to explain it in this manner, but I had a whole bunch of obstacles that was presented to me, like back to 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 back. And every single obstacle became a advantage for me, you know what I mean, in my walk with God and in my um, just for my better good, like it just worked out for my good. Like it says, um, what the enemy meant for was it's actually explained, but we quote it cause we kind of like summarize it, which there's no problem in doing it, but what the enemy meant for our evil, um, God turned around for our good, the devil, what the devil meant for our evil, God turned around for our good. And so, uh, you know, uh, that, and then, you know, how, uh, the Lord said to the Lord Yeshua, he said, um, let, he said, sit on the right side of my throne, um, until I make your enemies your footstool. And a footstool is something that you, uh, kick your feet back on and relax. Okay. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just the dynamics of how God really works for us. And, and, and when I say works for us, I mean, uh, just working on our behalf, you know what I mean? Like um, looking out for us, giving us prophecy of, of things that's to come, warning, making sure you're fed, making sure you're, uh, you have shelter, making sure you're clothed, making sure you're cared for, you know, in the smallest matters, whether they're, you know, trivial, big, whatever. Like it doesn't matter if it has to do with work. It doesn't matter if to do with, um, with, with health. It doesn't matter if it has to do with, you know, um, you know, just being confused. It could be anything. It could be, it could be the slightest thing that, that I didn't even mention. Like it's just too many scenarios to explain and it could be anything And God. He cares. He cares so much. He cares for us so much. He loves us so much. And the love is not something that we're used to. Uh, the closest thing you're going to get is a replica of like a, a, a husband or a wife or, or, or a mother or a father, you know what I mean? Um, or a sister or a brother, you know what I mean? A relative, somebody close to you, like a friend, you know what I mean? But but like, not as him, because he, he he's just uncomparable. 
Um, I mean, uh, you know, there's not even a sparrow that 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 falls to the ground without the father knowing. Okay, you I mean like you know that means he cares even about the sparrow. You know what I mean? Like one of the smallest birds that 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 he created. Um, if not the smallest. Uh, yeah, but um, no, no, there, there's a hummingbird too. But the point that I'm making is that it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, I'm not trying to complicate it, <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing. Uh, he's on our side. Um, and you know, and it's a scripture that always stuck with me that he's faithful even when we're unfaithful. And, um, and you know, that's a beautiful thing too, because, you know, because you're in the flesh and you have to die to the flesh and, 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 the, and the times that you're not dying to the flesh, he's not going to be like, Oh, I ain't going to be on your side. And like, he's still for you. Um, it's just too much to name, but but the point thing, the point that I was gonna make is that uh, like you know, he made you the the uh, the the lender and not the borrower. Um, it's just so many things, so many dynamics. Uh, he's really on your side, and you know, and you know, if 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 the best you got going with the Lord is that you don't want to go to hell, you don't really know the Lord. You you looked at YouTube videos and. Um, you, he's not really someone you know yet. Um, he 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 wants to be, but yeah. If you if if you're if you're only focused on like you know um, uh, like keeping a set of rules, which you have to keep his commands, and if you don't keep his commands, that shows that you don't love God. Um, but you keep these commands because you love God, not because you don't. You just don't want to go to hell and you think about yourself and you're self-centered and focus on oh what you don't want to experience in it but you like you don't want to hurt god you want to have fellowship with god you want to build with god you want to grow with god and um you know sometimes all you can do is just like not do anything and just be in a zone about how good god is um you know we are immortal after overcoming this world um we're not normal people and that's one of the first things that stuck with me when I first came to Christ. And you know, in these dreams, I'm going to tell you something that really throws me off. Oh my goodness. It, it takes me to wake up to realize that I haven't physically flown. But when I have these dreams, when I'm flying all over the place and stuff like that, I really be genuinely convinced that I could fly. And, um, you know, I believe that we can fly. Like, I hate to sound like R. Kelly, but I really do believe that we can fly. Like, all jokes aside, all hypocrisy aside, like, I believe that we can really fly. And, um, I mean, that's just the least of the things that we can do. Um, I mean, there's people in the Bible who we got an opportunity to see that, you know, like Ezekiel, he, he flown. I mean, God took him up by his head, but he flown. It was God who makes you fly. So Enoch was taken up, um, uh, I mean, there's saints who, uh, tr trans, what is this? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, transported. Yeah. There's, there's saints who transported like, boop. Now you see me now you don't like, uh, Philip. Um, I mean, I don't know, but you just can't put a limit on God. Um, it's really, it just makes you zone out and be like, wow, like, I don't even have anything that I'm thinking about, but I just want to be zoned up. Uh, like you're just earthbound, but he's working for you on your behalf while you're earthbound, surrounded by people who hate you, want to kill you, um, speak ill against you, uh, you know, have ill intentions, um, think nothing of you. But he's thinking highly of you and he's ready to um, have you prosper spiritually, financially, um, in any way, you know, um, even physically. Uh, he's just, he just, you know, and I say that because of health, he cares about your health. Uh, but yeah, every single obstacle that was coming my way, man. I don't even remember all of them because it just was flooded. It was just like, it was one after another, 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 one after another. 
and they all turned out for my good. It's just like how, you know, Satan, you know, he didn't realize that Jesus Christ was going to make an open spectacle out of him and all of his angels, you know, and, and have dominion. You know what I mean? He didn't he didn't expect that. And it's that's the same thing it is is because Christ means anointed one and we are his anointed ones. And so that's the same thing. It goes for us. You know what I mean? Um, that's the same thing that goes for us. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I bless God. I thank you for listening. Um, you know, and you know, the thing about God is he likes when things don't look, you know, when things look a little shaky and stuff like that, because he just shows himself awesome and he just, you just end up giving them the glory and giving them the honor. And it's just like, wow, like, look at how he just came through. Like, but anyway, God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just wanted to um, give you this word uh, about how um, he just causes us to overcome and just, um, I mean, there's so many scriptures, man. It's just the whole Bible is really talking about that. Like, you know, um, you know, uh, it's just, it's just phenomenal. It's just beyond my imagination. Uh yeah, God is just amazing. It just doesn't even really like, it's just really beyond me. Um, you know, and it's just like, dang, what, you know, it's like, man, if you wasn't looking for the Lord, it's like, oh man, like, like he's on our side. Like he got our back. Anyway, man, I'm done, man. I ain't, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but um, it's just, my mind goes blank. Cause I'm just like, wow. Like, I don't even know where to begin. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to start. I don't know how to sum it up to something that I can feel like, you know, like it's just a, it's just an ongoing explanation of his goodness, you know, like it doesn't end. But anyway, God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to know if you get anything out of this dream, keep, keep in mind, I told my grandmother and I told my uncle, you can do this too. Okay. And I also, um, you know, and so Hey, look, we're the family of God, okay? So how much the more y'all, I mean, I mean, um, and I'm pretty sure many of y'all already know this, but for those who, you know, need some encouragement. Okay, God bless you. My name is Lord Jesus Christ.